Good morning. It's about 7.15 in the morning. I'm pretty sure it's in the evening for you guys. Uh, we will be going over Chapter 6, uh, Charles P. McKeague, uh, for the Chapter Test Review. Um, I'll be doing all of the even ones. So, uh, let's get started. Number 2. Square root of 3, tangent of theta, plus 1 is equal to 0. Well, the first thing we want to do is move the 1 over to by side right to 3. So tangent of theta is equal to negative 1 over root 3. And as we discussed earlier, I want to figure out what the reference angle is. So I took the absolute value of that. And reference angles are always between 0 and 90. So we're going to have to draw the triangle out. There's theta hat. 1 opposite over root 3. And that's going to be 2. So that theta hat is going to be um, opposite the small side, so 30 degrees. That's your reference angle. And they want theta to be between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. So one's the tangent negative. Um, all students take calculus. It's negative in quadrant 2 and quadrant 4. All of them are positive, sine's positive, tangent's positive, and cosine's positive. So uh, the reference angle is going to be, that's your reference angle, that's your reference angle. So theta is equal to 180 minus 30, excuse me, not theta, hat theta, because it's not the reference angle. It's going to be 360 degrees minus 30 degrees. 360 minus 30, 180 minus 30. So theta is going to be 150 degrees and 330 degrees. All, right. All the evil ones and odd ones are in the back of the book. I have both copies of that right here. Let's check it out. It's 150 and 330. Perfect. Let's do number four. It's a little bit more difficult. Tangent theta minus 2 cosine of theta. Tangent theta is equal to 0. So we set the equation equal to 0 and we notice something a little bit different this time. We have two terms, the tangent theta and then minus 2 cosine theta tangent theta. So the first thing we want to do is factor out tangent theta because that's common to both terms. We end up with 1 minus 2 cosine of theta equals 0. And notice that we took out the tangent theta it becomes minus 2 cosine theta, which got tangent theta, it becomes 1. If you distribute, you should get the same thing as the previous expression on the left side, left side of the equation. Using the zero product property right here, see, we're going to zip it out. The tangent theta equals 0, and 1 minus 2 cosine of theta is equal to 0. So say they set up these problems fairly easy so that you can solve these out. When is the tangent theta equal to zero? When the sine of theta over the cosine of theta equals zero. That means the numerator has to be zero. At what angle is the sine of theta equal to zero? At zero degrees and 180 degrees. We solve for cosine theta. Excuse me. Cosine theta is we move this guy over divided by two, one half. And the reference angle for that is going to be 60 degrees. And so we know that the cosine is positive in quadrant 1, quadrant 4. So it's going to be 60 degrees and 300 degrees. Let's see if that's right. Number 2, number 4. 0, 60, 180, and 300. 0, 180, uh, 0, 60, 180, and 300. Perfect. So let's do the next problem, number six. Um, it's even a little bit more difficult, it's not that bad. Two sine of theta minus cosecant of theta is equal to one this time. Uh, you got a problem on the left hand side of the equation, you have sine of theta with a cosecant of theta. Um, as I stated in uh, chapter six, section one and two, you have to change all of the cosecant, cotangent, tangent, and the secant function to sine and cosine. 
that becomes 2 sine of theta minus 1 over sine of theta equals 1. A reminder, an easy way to remember the cosecant is that S in the middle right there. That's for the sine. Um, another way you can remind, remember the secant is there's only one cos uh, C right there that's equal to 1 over cosine of theta. So if there's only one cosine I see, I remember that that's the cosine. If the S is in the middle here, then it's going to be the sine. So we're going to bust that fraction. We don't like fractions with equations. So we're going to bust that fraction. Well, let's use a different um, highlighter this time. We're going to multiply by the sine of theta. And this one, and this one, the second term, and following it to the right side. And what do we get when we multiply that up? You get 2 sine squared of theta. minus sine of theta and the denominator cancels, minus 1 equals sine of theta. What do we do at this stage? Uh, you should know by now that you have a quadratic situation right over here. So what you do is you have to bring it on over, everything set it equal to 0, and try to solve that quadratic out. Let's do it right over here. 2 sine squared of theta minus sine of theta, we're going to move that term over, minus 1 is equal to 0. We're going to have to factor this, step 1, and by to it to the 4th step. Step 2, sine of theta, then 2 sine of theta, doesn't matter where it goes, the minus 1 tells you, well, step 3, 1 is going to be a minus, 1 is going to be a plus, we don't know which one yet. Step 4 is the factors of 1 right there, it's only 1 and 1. We have to check our oil in our oil, plus sine of theta, minus 2 sine of theta, minus sine of theta, so the signs are correct, correctly located. We zip it out now, we set each factor equal to 0, sine of theta is equal to 1, sine of theta is equal to negative 1 half. What angle is it equal to 1? Theta equals 90 degrees. One is equal to one half at 30 degrees. That's the reference angle. So we use, we take out the negative here. Sine theta should equal one half at what angle? It's going to be at 30 degrees. So therefore, one is negative in quadrant two and, I'm sorry, excuse me, quadrant three and four. So we go 180 plus 30, which is 210 degrees. At quadrant four is 360 minus 30. It's going to be 330 degrees. Let's check it out. Number 6. Uh, 90, 210, and 330. 90, 210, and 330. Perfect. That's right. Next problem. This is page 2. We'll be doing number 8. Cosine of theta over 2 minus the cosine of theta is equal to 0. Ah, big problem. You got a half angle there. Do you remember the formula for the half angle for the cosine? Um, I don't know if your teacher is going to make you memorize this or not, but if they do, make sure you write the half angle for the cosine um, and you remember it, okay? But anyways, we're going to move this guy over. Uh, before we move this guy over, I'm just going to write it, uh, the half angle. Square root of 1 plus cosine of theta divided by 2 minus cosine of theta is equal to 0. I'm going to move this guy over to the right side. I'm so going to do the one shot. Equals 0, and then cancel that out. Cheated that just a little bit. It's okay. Now what do we have to do? We got the square root, so it's going to be a problem. We're going to square both sides. Square the left side, let's square the right side. Notice something, when we square the plus or minus, it goes away. The square of the square of, when I think to a positive number, I square it, it becomes positive. Or, if it's negative, I square it, it becomes positive. So the plus or minus goes away. The square the square root, 
cancel split the square into square root, it's the inverse operation. 1 plus cosine of theta divided by 2 is equal to cosine squared of theta because I squared the right side. I multiply by 2 to get rid of that. 1 plus cosine of theta is equal to 2 cosine squared of theta. It's busting, warp you busted that fraction. Same process, okay? We move this, it's a quadratic now again. We're going to move the cosine and the 1. We end up with 2 cosine squared theta minus cosine of theta minus 1 is equal to 0. Because of this quadratic, we're going to have to set it, usually set it equal to 0 to try to solve these equations out. Again, same process. Step 1, put in your parentheses, set it equal to 0. Step 2, 2 cosine of theta, cosine of theta. That's step 2. 1 is going to be a plus, 1 is going to be a minus. That's step 3. Step 4, the factors of 1 is only 1 and 1. Make sure you, are, you do these four steps. It's going to help you to become better, stronger. Okay, guys? Um, and check our oil and our foil. We know that the F, the first part, is 2 cosine squared theta. It's pretty easy. The outer is minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. So we got the sign right. So I'm going to fold that in a little bit. And this is going to be a minus. And then the L, minus 1, of course. So we checked our oil and our foil. So we zip it up, we set each factor equal to zero. I'm going to take a little shortcut, either one half, you should know how to do that by now. Cosine of theta equals one. Uh, I'm going to take five seconds to make sure you guys understand that. We set this equal to zero. Two cosine of theta plus one equals zero. We move the one over, so we make it negative one divided by two. And for that reference angle, is equal to 60 degrees, where's the negative? At quadrant two and quadrant three, so it's gonna be 180 minus 60, 180 plus 60, that's gonna be 120 degrees and 240 degrees. One's it equal to one at zero degrees. So these are your three answers. At zero, 120 and 240. And we're done, right? Oh, ouch. I'm going to highlight in blue. You square both sides. When you square both sides, you must check, always check with strenuous solutions. So we have to put into the original equation. Let's check your work. CYW. Check your work. We always put into the original equation cosine of theta over 2 minus cosine of theta plus that equals 0 question mark. Just plug in 0. Cosine of 0 over 2 is cosine of 0. That's 1 minus cosine of 0 is 1. We end up with 0. Uh, know your reference angles and your wheel because you can see a lot of this. 120. Cosine of 120 divided by 2 is cosine of 60 minus cosine of 120. Cosine of 60, I know that it's 1 half minus cosine of 120 is negative 1 half. That does not equal 0, so therefore 120 is out. Let's check 240. So we're going to put that theta equals 120 here. Let's check it out. Theta equals 240. 